All right, back, back. Okay, we also had a power outage. So to me, this is symbolizing that we're having that restart with the energy. Officially, officially, officially. So we remember that we're having a, a deeper, we're expanding a deeper level of connection between the masculine and feminine. And this is, has to do with this love frequency and how the twins are expanding it here. But in order to do so, we're having a deeper level of disconnection from the devil, siphoning our energy by tricking us into being unbalanced. But we're not, we're achieving balance. We're achieving balance through the hearts. Now, before I share the official messages of this, which I feel called to, we're gonna, we're having a reunication of the Three of Cups. And this is card number three here as we expand love. We expand the soulmate frequency. And this reunication has to do with, we're literally going within. Remember, this has to do with vector equilibrium, where we restore balance from within to without. We have to expand within. So we're literally doing that. See, so this has to do with into me, I see. Into me, I see. Into me, I see. And remember, we got these cards together. We spoke about this the last last uh, few times we met up. And this is restoring balance. Justice is here. Prism energy. The two negative tetrahedrons of feminine energy here. Water and earth meeting up with the two positive tetrahedrons of air and fire. Prism energy. But look at that sword. That sword has become our backbone. Our truth has become our backbone and restored balance as we heal from corruption. Justice. So into me, I see. And we see a wish that we made upon a star from the time that we were a small child. This wish is connected to our childhood. Now, this is where we restore balance and we create happiness. From sadness as we heal from disconnections within our lives but what we have to do is remember we're going within this has to do with within and when we go within we're gonna work with our solar plexus we're gonna laser focus on our solar plexus but we're working with the earth star our root our sacral our solar plexus there's a recalibration with our heart chakra that's that's this with ourself as we restore vector equilibrium we restore balance within restoring balance from within to without and that is how we're elevating and this has to do with an illumination with the mother with the empress within we're literally being shown within right now we're literally being shown this and this bridge, it's, 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 it's being created from within to without. Now, this is connected to this. And this. Our true, and we know that this is working with our true state of being, 963 hertz. The ancient sound frequencies rebalance energy, frequency, and vibration. And we know that we are also working with 639 hertz. So we can use these ancient soul fagial frequencies to heal with, okay? That's part of the creation of this positive charge of pulling together the tetrahedrons to expand through the heart. And this has to do with rebirth, transformation, reweaving, and reactivating. And look at all the shape shifting. But this is connected to being clear right now. We need to be clear and focused. Each twin coming together with a sword. We know we're meeting up to in the creation of this bridge. When it's day, we will have met up. It's a connection to reunification. We have the three of cups in here. 
There is our reunication. Because the matter, the feminine and the masculine, the energy are working together. And it's in it's in order to have this transformation. And we remember that the other frequency that we are working with is 852 hertz intuition and wisdom because we're expanding unconditional love. And that's why we need to believe and have faith. The octahedron is right here. And the octahedron is the shape of our heart, our heart chakra, pulling together the negative and the positive. And it all, it all has to do with this bridge of the land of the in-between, where we are meeting up, right here. Remember, it's when the swords meet the cups. So when the swords, wait, let me do it like this. So when the swords meet the cups, this bridge will turn today and activate. This is what I've been shown. My counter just said 611. So this has to do with the 10 of cups because we remember the feminine is analyzing the 10 of cups with the connection to the two. So the matter is analyzing the 10 of cups but through the connection to the two. So she's also using the masculine to find clarity. This is really big. The matter is using the energy to find clarity. Renewing a deeper level of connection here for the twins on earth. And as we know, as being starseed twin flames, our paths have to do with some sort of healing with actual life we're healing with actual life and we're using the masculine we're putting on a label on it to call it what it is but we all know it's connected to the feminine and the void and all of creation so there's an activate oh no we're sharing this and then we're going to get an activation for that to expand off it so remember this is it and this we know that the shape within faith with our, with our faith connection to the all with everything with the divine god it's unconditional love is within within here it's unconditional love and what are we doing we're in the creation of expanding unconditional love here okay But we we are going to be challenged here through a trick. And we're going to talk about that next time we meet up. So stay tuned. There is going to be a challenge set forth. Here we go. Self-love, soulmate connection, I love you. Love Frequency is here to remind us that to live an amazing life and accomplish what we have come here to do, we first need to accept and love ourselves. And there it is. There's where the recalibration is, is happened through the center point. We're accepting and loving ourselves when we decided to look within and see us, our true self. And it is connected to our inner child. card i swear the card's just like whoosh. well i shouldn't swear should i okay we're back each of us needs to look into our inner core and into our hearts see the beauty and love within ourselves so that we can work to our highest potentials in every aspect remember remember others will treat you the way you treat yourself to draw on this vibration, we have to find the love comfortably from within. And this is that recalibration with that one cup, the Ace of Cups in Spirit. And that's how we went from eight to nine cups. Love, love of self is such a pertinent aspect of everyday life. But how many of us actually stop and look in the mirror and see the true beauty of our soul essence? And this is what we're seeing. We're seeing the true beauty of our soul essence. Do you stop and say, I love you to yourself? And remember, this is going to allow us to expand the mind. Do you see the true and pure, 
the mind with love. That's a key piece of information. Do you see the true and pure essence of your spirit in all you are and what you have to offer yourself? Does your heart sing? The biggest gift we can give is to love ourselves unconditionally. And there it is. We're loving ourselves unconditionally from within to without. And then this expands this bridge. Because yes, we're, we expand from within to without. That is the balance. This template is not only about the love of self, but the love of a soulmate. And that's why there's two. The Vesica Pisces. Here we have the Vesica Pisces. These two circles, spheres, the feminine voids of creation coming together. Well, oh, I don't know if that... You know, I'm trying to say it how I see it in my head. This is where it's like when you see... It's fine-tuning that connection of explaining our visions with the masculine. Our words. It's like fine-tuning that and like the vision of just like, you know, here, here I'm in my void and here my twin's in this void and we're coming together. And here's the light within us. But there's so much, like this is such a multi-dimensional space and place. Because we know that this is the Vesca Pisces in the second day of creation. But there's the light in between. There's connection to the four directions, the four elements. We're stringing all these concepts together to see, yes, they are all connected. That has to do with understanding this and understanding patterning and understanding how patterns shapeshift. It's a whole sidebar there. So... We all have a number of soul patterns, whether it be a lover or a friend. When a connection is made, it's knowing that it is felt in the depth of our hearts and a soul, a mirror image is found and formed. And we remember that in, what into me I see, it was the patterns of intimacy that allowed us to see. It was the intimacy between who we were being intimate with that created a mirror and allowed us to see in ourselves patterns that needed to be changed, patterns that needed to be shifted, patterns that needed to be, you know, destroyed or dismantled in order to co-create a new, healed, expanded, elevated. And that's why it has to do with our inner child and our connection to the six of cups and expanding pleasure from into happiness that six of cups it's connected to our inner child the sacred geometry of this template is the vesica pisces on the first day of genesis spirit decided to create an exact repli replica of it of itself a mirror image there are so many signs and synchronicities within this reading. Lit. Thank you to the divine. So the VP was formed. This is the area where the two spheres overlap. In the center is light and the light was created through sound. It is also a representative of an all seeing eye, the eye of God. And the eye of horus the symbolic intersection can be a representation of the common ground or mutual understanding between individuals and is spiritually a mirror of the soul this is everything we've been discussing a mirror of the soul a mirror of the soul from within to without we have to see it from within and expand it to without activation of this bridge of the land of the in-between so the diamond shape in the center in three dimensions is the octahedron look at that so in three dimensions this is the octahedron Guess what this is? We'll find out in a second, right? 
This shape is one of the five platonic solids. It correlates to the heart chakra and works with the element of air. Another key piece of information. Remember, we're expanding from the mind. This is where we started off when we first started off. But we're expanding the mind with the heart. Brain heart coherence. The octahedron correlates to the heart chakra, working with the element of air. It's the perfect geometry, geometry to use as representation of the love in this template. So we're going to work with our heart and soul. And that's going to make it much easier to love others and ourselves. Crucial to our growth on every level. So it's, of course, connected to number six just told, spoke about the six of cups rose quartz so foggio frequency 528 hertz and then we expand with number 33 which is a master number and we know that that's what we're doing we're mastering self in order to expand this has to do with spiritual discipline have faith to believe is to receive the heart is said to generate the largest electromagnetic field of the whole body. Just as the brain is an intelligence unto itself, so is the heart. It can play a role in our mental, emotional, and physical states. The heart is a powerhouse unto itself. The more we believe in what we know to be right, the stronger this external force becomes and the easier it is to stay on our path. Have you lost faith or strayed from your path? So look, this is why we're this is why we're doing work with spirit and the divine right now to expand. And we may have been put in spaces and places where we're alone, but we're in solitude because we're we need to work this way right now. And we need to believe and have faith in ourselves. We're healing from patterns of self-sabotage, patterns that are connected to insecurities, patterns that are connected to guilt and shame and what's lower vibrational. No, we're having faith in our love. We're having faith in our light. We're having faith in, in our heart's power. And we're literally healing our heart here. Like heart, actual heartbreak. Like wherever our heart has been broken through a disconnect of what was an unconditional love. This is this is now we're going to believe and have faith that we're co-creators and we're going to restore this. And we're restoring this from within to without. That's exactly what we're doing. And this this is this connection to the divine. And and just having this intimate relationship through that ace of cups between you and the divine, you and life, you and creation, you and source energy, you and everything. It's happening through you with this connection. And then the two of cups comes together. And that is the connection from the two to the three. And each counterpart having their own connection with that first and then coming together through that through the center point with god with creation so the octahedron now remember the shape that's being created between the visca pisces is the octahedron so look we are creating this this literally is we are creating this so this is the octahedron right here. And remember, when the swords meet the cups, the, uh, the negative tetrahedron of water coming together with the positive tetrahedron of hair, and we have a uh, heart chakra activation. So when the swords meet the cups, remember, this activates because we're expanding love because we are expanding love so we need to have faith right now remember it's a trick you know we're gonna be tricked we're gonna get thrown for a loop because the the devil's gonna try to trick us and make us think that we can lose love but we can't lose love because we can't lose love we can't lose source energy we can't lose our counterpart we can't lose ourself it's a trick so you know what? The devil's going to try to throw us for a loop and let it crumble away. If we have tower moments, let, her, let it come crumble away because what's for us is for us. This is where we have trust, trust and faith. This is where these, you know, twin flame relationships get a little bit tricky because we get put into separation. So we're questioning what is of us. But no, we don't question what is of us anymore. We don't question it from without. 
we let whatever crumbles away crumble away we see the love from wherever we're seeing it reflected back to us because we're healing from codependency in whatever given moment and we'll see the love in a stranger in our dog in a bird in the sun in our friend in our counterpart in our self in our self the connection from within to without and then we we'll focus on the life and the love and source energy within the present moment and we just expand it and it's magical and we can generate it and continue to create it. We don't just need a counterpart, but that's okay because we're, we're having this like recalibration with it with from within to without. And then yes, we, we still, it's, you know, we're twins. It's natural for us to want to be with our counterpart. It's natural for us to want to be with our other half. And then we, we manifest it without because we've done it within we're doing the work and the work is mission work and it's the most important thing because it's taking us to where we're going and it's creating this bridge and it's beautiful and so we're having this recalibration with us because we're meeting us my counter just said 2111 is we're meeting us where we're we're meeting us like we we're we're only able to meet love where we've met ourselves so we're meeting us with this full embodied divine expansive universal love and then we're able to meet our counterpart there but we needed to access those swords first and the swords meet the cups and okay so the octahedron is one of the five platonic solids its element is air remember the minds and it pertains to the heart, brain, heart coherence. The, the icosadodecahedron, the which is this shape encasing the octahedron. The icosadodecahedron is one of the 13 Archimedean solids and is only one of five platonic dual pairs. Within this geometry, they can shape shift as the icosahedron becomes the dodecahedron and vice versa. So the throat, our truth, becomes everything. And everything becomes our truth through unconditional love. This shape ultimately helps create and define our, per our perceptions and our life force. So look, we're expanding our life force because remember, this has to do with our heart's elect electromagnetic field growing bigger so we we expand from within to without and then it attracting back our counterpart from within to without well from without to within so we're attracting it back because we're expanding our heart's electromagnetic field so belief is about having confidence in yourself and knowing your truths having faith in the existence of something out there will work for you and help guide you Feel you with your heart and trust your gut. So look, remember, because this all goes back to where we need to heal with our guts. It's part of the elevation. It's part of the creation of our happiness. Healing from patterns of separation and addiction too. So you have a knowing of what is right. Take some time to center yourself. Go within your heart and into your belief system. Ask yourself, does this feel right? Am I on track? What is it I need to change to make right? We are all connected to the all from the great cosmos to the inner core of the earth. Our perception and intentions are strong. What we put out there is what we receive back. Believe in yourself and trust in your knowing. Number 33, and this also is connected to the rose, rose quartz as well. And citrine. So I want to get, I want to get him. A message just to expand off this. Where am I going? I'm, um, okay, we're going here. We're going to the wild unknown archetypes. Okay. So this has to do with these two spheres. Look, and I love that that, you know, these two spheres coming together. So, right, these two spheres coming together with the activation of our authentic self. I don't know where that sacred geometry card went, but we all know it was here. So, I 
And those swords are truths meeting the cups. Our hearts. Our truths of our mind meeting the cups, our hearts of our expansion. Like, this is lit. It's so funny I sit here and put this all together. <laughs> Guys, I have, like, I'm telling you, I sit here and put this all together and I don't even know how. And then I do know how. The divine. And this is how I believe. This is how I believe myself because I'll like watch one of these readings afterwards and I'm like oh my goodness wow <laughs> this wow this wow like I wish I had a camera following me around all the time and then you guys could see all this but I can't I have to honor that this is my path and you guys have yours and we're all creating and then we meet up when we meet up how we meet up all right I'll be finding cards everywhere, all throughout the house. And like grabbing this deck, grabbing that deck and being like, call to go, no, grab this deck, grab that deck. This is falling out of this deck. This is falling over here. This is, there's the messages. There they all are. And then share them. And it's just, wow. See how they all come together. Okay, that's it. The storm, it's, it's again, lat. <laughs> Unless at the time before we met up, we got the storm from the Shaman Oracle. And we're healing the venom. We're, we're healing the poison. Remember, because we're maturing pleasure into happiness. And we're taking back our energy center so we can expand our heart's electromagnetic field. So we're not going to be drinking the poison. We're not going to be putting ourselves out of whack and out of balance. That's what we're doing here. We're expanding from within to without. We're not looking for stimulus from without to within to expand. We're uh, expanding from within to without. So like, these are focused on meditation if you feel called to. Here's this message. And we just got... Uh, let me see where these cards are. It's right here. Let me see it. Let me be super quick. If you have to forward, I understand. See you in a second. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I know it's got that bird. And you know, yeah, this one. We got this card. And here it is right here, the storm. Oh, my body's racked and throwing it all around. Perfect storm, the courage to step into life. We know that the matter, the feminine, was literally pushed to step into life and for the masculine, the energy to expand it. And it has to do with the energy of the storm. It's like, this is the perfect storm, but we are becoming the calm, the peace, the love, the unconditional love in the eye of this storm. And I am feeling called to read this message, so let's do it. Ashley, but it's so, I'm feeling called to read the message from the Shaman Oracle. We did not read it that day. And I feel like, I feel like that's where it's at. What's it? Right here. And we're going from a 33 to a 44. And a 44 is connected to manifesting our abundance through mastering ourselves. The perfect storm, an invitation to act now, the courage to step into life, sheltering from turbulence. When the perfect storm appears, it cautions you to be ready for an exciting, turbulent time. The winds are picking up and you need to make sure that you're close to the eye of the storm or you will be buffed by its gusts. So this is the center. Remember, we're, this is something really 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 low and really 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 high coming together through the center point and we talked about like part one this is like why people take uppers and downers at the same time to find that perfect balance but we're finding that perfect balance from within to without this is that vector equilibrium and it has to do what why we need our inner child why we need to look within and expand from the center point with seeing en energy from within to without where did that card go 
gosh, I can start getting so many cards on it. Too. It starts becoming a, a game of where to find them. And I don't want to play games. I was just thinking about this complete sidebar, complete sidebar. I was thinking about this the other day, like these texting games we play and these communication games we play. Like that's why each twin is coming with a sword. Cause guess what? Ain't playing no games with love. I don't want to be playing no games with my heart. I don't want to be playing any games with my love, with my love. It's authentic. It's authentic. It's unconditional. It's real. No games. Okay. You need to stop playing games with love. So we're going to remain at the center. Notice how loose the loose stuff is starting to fly around and recognize how little of it you truly need. Let go of loose thoughts, beliefs, and attitudes that clutter, clutter your heart and cloud your mind. Then the storm will be absolutely perfect for you. And what's happening as we spiral out of this mind? Everything that's not authentic to us, not that's not of truth, is falling away. Encounter just said 3111. The perfect storm can also be a call for you to seize the moment. There might be a great opportunity that you need to take advantage of now. Carpe diem. Here, time is of the essence. It may be gone shortly or do not hesitate. Go ahead. Bite off more that you can chew and take the storm on in all of its terrifying greatness. Experiencing the fullness of life, you will succeed. So look, there is a forgiveness here. And I did not have this here for no reason. This has to do with healing from the past. Because we remember that what we're doing in the present moment is what matters. And this is where expanding life and love with the divine and us and our energy. Because we'll use the past as nutrients, it's experience. But we are not the past. We are always co-creating. One thing that is constant is change. And we are creating the future in the present moment. So the present moment will soon be the past, but it's... We're creating the future. And so we're going to laser focus on the present moment. We need to let go of some sort of regret here. This has to do with she who regrets. Battle, victory, and bitterness. And this is like always having to be right. Always having to be right. We have to let go of something. There's a forgiveness. And it's allowing us to let go of our past. And we literally heal from time. We collapse time and we expand through the present moment moment we laser focus on this present moment this has something to do with this and we're going to expand more off this next time we meet up and so then you know i am sending it to you those good good healing vibes love light and healing energy sent your way to create with today i love you take care